first thing I'm going to do is a song that uh, a man named Archie Edwards did. Uh, he had a barber shop and he was also a blues player. He was from Ferrum County. And um, he. Uh, He used to do this song, and I used to love it. And then after he passed away, I, I learned how to do it. It's called Take Me Back, Baby. It was originally, I think, done by Mississippi John Hurt. If I could borrow his hat, please. Ask Greg if I could borrow his hat. Thank you. <laughs> it is really, really warm up here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a song. Uh, I love doing this song. Uh, it's sort of based on a version that a guy named... Uh, Barry Lewis did, but it's it's not quite like that. It's basically a song about a man who was very bad at his job. Had he been good at his job, we wouldn't have made a song up about him. It's a song about Casey Jones, and it was so popular with Furry Lewis that he kept making different versions with the same accompaniment but different words. So uh, I've got... Um, of my favorite verses in here. And, it, and, and uh, Casey Jones only gets mentioned about once. Starts out with a hobo named John, who's dead. Then um, a stalker named uh, Alice Fry, who's trying to 
find Casey Jones, and then a bootlegger, then Casey appears, wrecks a train, then uh, people in Memphis, and uh, a dog, and a rabbit. Last Tuesday morning, look like rain. Round the bend, come a passenger train. On the bottle was Hobo John. So he's a good old hobo, but he's dead and gone. He's dead and gone. Good old hobo, but he's dead and gone. There was a woman named Miss Alice Fry. I'm all right with old Casey or die. I ain't good looking, but I take my time. Rambling woman, got a rambling mind, got a rambling mind. Rambling woman, got a rambling mind. Well, I sold my gin, sold the straight. Police chased me to my baby's gate. He looked at me and nodded his head. Made me welcome to the folding bed, to the folding bed. Gotta get a hat. It is some hot. It's very stylish too. Uh -huh. it, go, huh? I always look terrible in hat, <laughs> but it, I, I don't care how I look. I look like you know the the three Stooges, right? The ones with the hair that sticks out like that. That's what I look like in hats. But today, I really don't care. It's a song from South Carolina called C C and O. It's it's about a train of some sort. I've been told numerous times what the train is, but jeez. But um, I forgot. Anyway, it's about a, a, a It's by um, Pink Anderson and Simi Dooley. Tell me so. You didn't want me, why didn't you tell me so? <laughs> Won't be hanging round your door no more. I'm gonna ride the seaboard, either ride the blind. I'm gonna ride the seaboard, either ride the blind. I'm gonna ride the seaboard, either ride the blind. 
Well, John Jackson was a very, uh, very generous and uh, uh, beloved man. I mean, I don't know anyone who's ever met him who didn't just think he was wonderful, because he was. And he was very encouraging. And when I first met him, he used to call me up to, uh, to play like, like a couple of songs, not the whole set, but... but you know, he'd say, come on up and play, bring your guitar. So that was very good for me and encouraging. And I also used to go out and visit him. And he, the way, he didn't really teach, like, you know, go step by step real slow or anything. The way John did, he would show you things. At least this is how it happened with me. So John would be sitting here, I'd be sitting here, and John would be playing... I don't know. <laughs> and then I'd sort of try and do half of what he did or even a quarter of what he did. But he had a, um, his um, granddaughter, Nisi, was about this big at the time. And she could sing along with every intricate break that John did. You know, John did a lot of really fancy, fancy guitar stuff. And she, little tiny thing, would, would sing right along with it, just, just along with the guitar. So... Um, I always remember that as a, as a really neat uh, kind of experience. And this is a song that John did. He did. This is not his arrangement because uh, I, that was kind of beyond me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I want to do this song kind of in honor of, of, of John. I thought I'd do a few songs in honor of different people of that uh, generation and, and the locale. Um, but I can use help if you feel like it, okay? It's a call and response uh, um, tradition in blues. And uh, this is a version of Kansas City. And basically, uh, when I say move to Kansas City, if you are so inclined, you can say, back to me, move to Kansas City. And then if there's somebody you're really mad with, you can do the next line, which is, honey, where they don't allow you. <laughs> Up to you, but anyway, here here goes.
The day that you quit me, you never said a word. Nothing I done, it must be something you heard. I'm gonna move to Kansas City. That's you. I'm gonna move to Kansas City. That's you. I'm gonna move to Kansas City, honey, where they don't allow you. That's you too, if you want it. The day that you quit me, you should put me down. I wouldn't mind it so bad. The news is all over town. I'm gonna move to Kansas City. I'm gonna move to Kansas City. I'm gonna move to Kansas City, honey, where they don't allow you. That uh, some of the some of the most beautiful songs are the saddest, or you know, they're about tragedies, or you know, murders, whatever. They get all the good tunes. This one is about a flood, and I I would imagine it might be that 1927 flood that went all the way from up in Vermont all the way down south. Uh, anyway, this is called Rising River Blues. Door. 
Rivers rising like it never done before Come here, baby Sit down here by me Come here, baby Sit down here by me Rising river sure does worry me needs to make an announcement. Sorry to interrupt, but at 3.30, there will be dance instructions over there for anybody who would like to dance. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. This is a song that I don't think I've ever played in public before. I play it around the house because I like it. I like the words a lot. Um, it's done by a man, but I thought I'd do it today because it's done by, it was recorded by a man named Luke Jordan. And he was from Lynchburg, sometimes known as Lynchburg Luke, according to Greg Kimball anyway. And um, there's, a, there's a really neat thing that, that Greg interviewed someone who had known him and, uh, and that person said that uh, um, if you wanted, you could hire Luke Jordan to sit in the back of your car when you had a date and play music. <laughs> Obviously before the days of, uh, you know, even tape players in a car. So that was a rather unique way of making money. I'm going to try this song. If I flub it up, well, I'll just do another one. It's, I don't know. Yeah. refuse to come 
Hardball and water sure can't help you none. You round your how and about you going. Now is your going time. You hollering about you going. Now's your going time. You don't have your train fare. Honey, I sure got mine. The nerve to give me gasoline I ask for you for water You give me gasoline My home ain't here It's down in New Orleans You don't believe I'm leaving Honey, count the days I'm gone Believe I'm leaving, count the days I'm gone. See, I'm from the South, I'm superstitious, and I know something's going on wrong. love those words. I'm the, from the South. I'm superstitious and I know something's going on wrong. Okay, here's a, this song is uh, kind of from Mississippi. It's either called Rowdy Blues or M&O Blues. M&O, of course, is another train. You can't get away from them. Um, but uh, I kind of like it, so... Settle down. Well, I ain't gonna marry, neither settle down. I'm gonna stay right here, tell this old bow house down. Well, I love you, baby, tell the world I do. Yeah, I love you, baby. Tell the world I do. I don't love nobody around the world but you. There ain't no need of weeping, ain't no need of crying. There ain't no need of weeping. You got a home Long as I got Man. 
and I ain't gonna marry, neither settle down. Well, I ain't gonna marry, neither settle down. I'm gonna stay right here, tear this old barrel house down. It's getting a little nicer out there. As long as the cloud doesn't produce rain, we're doing great. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see. Well, hmm, no, I'm going to do this. This is a song by a man named Henry Thomas. He usually plays a uh, pan pipe. Well, it's, it's quills. It sounds like a pan pipe. Uh, I um, can't play that and I don't have one so I just kind of approximate it on the guitar I'm gone away and it won't be long I'm gone away and it won't be long I'm gone away and it won't be long Just sure as that train leaves out of that mobile yard Just sure as that train leaves out of that mobile yard Just sure as the train leaves out of that mobile yard Come shake a hand, tell your baby goodbye Come shake a hand, tell your baby goodbye Come shake a hand, tell your baby a couple together and then Phil's going to do a set of his own. Um, let's see. We might as well just... Let's do Sugar Babe first because okay. I'm in that tuning. Uh, this is a song. Uh, it's kind of a Pink Anderson song too. Uh, kind of a mean song. I like it for that reason. 
You know, I mean, there are all these songs that are sad and everything, and like people, you know, split up and do bad things to each other. Well, this is this is the answer to that. Got a set coming up, which is going to be great. Phil and Greg Kimball. We'll see. 
<laughs> it will. Hello. There's a little bit of a boom happening there. Hello. Man, that food smells good. Yes, it does. Where is it coming from? I don't know, but hmm. you won't see my dust when I'm... <laughs> we'll have to investigate after. Yeah. Okay. So, Broken Hungry? And, yeah. Uh, hey. Well, here's one that, that Phil used to play with uh, his partner, John Cephas. And um, I don't know, I rather like playing it too, so... And I think this, I think this is, uh, this is my last one. But then Phil's gonna be doing some stuff and blah blah blah. So <laughs> <All right. laughs> you'll find out. It'll be a surprise. Okay, ready? Yes. Yeah. Broken, hungry, ragged and dirty too.
so much. Thank you. Stay tuned for Phil. Illinois Ellis.